man. <laughs> <sighs> One day I'll be courteous and let you know I'm about to start. But that day? It's, 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 I think it's the little things that keep this relationship fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, sh- I should have been nicer because Paul is doing this podcast 30 minutes earlier because apparently I have a dentist appointment today that I sort of forgot about. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. So, in know. fact, in some ways, this is a little bit better because then I can just focus on writing for a while. And... Yeah. A few things going on this week. <sighs> like my hair. Yep. Mine too. Whatever. This is, I, just, I just got in from the walk. It's 36 degrees out. A little chilly. It's frost. It's yeah. frost out there, Brad. That's first a little, frost. a little colder than I would like. Yeah, it's going to warm up again, but, yeah. you know, as my wife said, it's a cold front from Canada, so I demand that we close the border immediately. <laughs> That's what that means, right? <laughs> anyway, it, how it, you doing? Is it too early to call it quits for the day? <laughs> it's... Day one, Ignite. Yeah, so we got uh, we got a couple things happening, actually, both tomorrow, I think. We've got Ignite, and then... Mm-hmm. In the middle of Ignite, you can also pre-order your Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, uh, yeah. I'm assuming that they think that those like groups don't cross like much, or maybe they weren't. Yeah. I, you know, uh, maybe they don't. I don't know. Who knows? Microsoft, whatever. Yep. It's still better than the time they had that briefing in San Francisco when there was an Oracle conference. <laughs> we couldn't get a stupid hotel room to save our lives. That was actually, uh, yeah, I didn't go to that I, one. That was fun. Oh, sorry. That was, I think, the original. Yeah, no, it was the original launch. I was really, with, yeah, okay. I was really pissed about it. Um, but then it worked out extremely well because they gave everybody uh, the the pre-release bits, but they didn't like give it to you guys. Like, I, don't, I can't remember. Yeah, how you... that, right. They kind of released it, and yeah. And like you guys were trying to download it over airplane Wi-Fi, and I'm sitting at home like just installing this yeah, and just yeah, yeah, screenshots. Yeah. And... <laughs> oh, Microsoft, what a history we have. Yeah. Yep, a lot of history there. A lot of history. So you you finished up your review of the uh, the uh, the S twenty. How's that? The note the, the note twenty. Oh, was it the S? Um, whatever. Yeah. The, no, the, the S twenty was the Galaxy years. thing that I don't came know, out. understand why you can't keep it straight. But they're all <laughs> three letters away from having the same name. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's it's awesome. I mean, of course it is. Um, it's expensive, of course it is. Um, I, this, by the way, this is a four thousand word review. I I I glanced off the top of the software thing and bounced right off of it. Like you, you could write a book about all the software and services and settings, and customizations, and everything that are Samsung spe- specific. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Good and bad, you know. I mean, because there's obviously good points to that. But anyway, I I love the camera. I this camera to me has hit a nice middle ground between, you know, the overly saturated, unrealistic HDR plus 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 stuff and the kind of bland everyday shots that you can get like with any smartphone uh, that I just find a little too pale, a little too colorless. So it's kind of it's kind of in the middle. Like Samsung, I feel like has been screwing around with their I'll call it computational photography stuff. Over the past several releases, and I feel like on this one they they hit a good place. Like it's like the last two were like close, and this one kind of did it for mm-hmm. me. Yeah. yeah, well, good. It's how much is that phone? I don't need thirteen hundred big ones. So you could get one of those, or but effect, but it has everything. One of these, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it has everything. And by the way, it has things that doesn't have, like DeX and wireless DeX and NFC and five G support globally. The uh, fastest processor available, 12 gigabytes of RAM, expandable storage, on and on it goes. You know, it's a little, it's like it's a computer in your pocket. Yeah, but does it do this, Paul? No, it works. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and when you when you flip it in a different direction, everything, it shifts immediately. It doesn't sometimes just screw up and do it on its own. Yeah, so that, come that, later. I, I will concede that that's a pretty big <laughs> issue with the Duo right now, that yeah. it's... Um, it's a little bit of a roulette wheel with the the screen rotation, and then right. the other fun sure. one is Instagram, which forces a rotate no matter what you do. There's just that's how. Oh, it works. really? It, it's just only will do well because that's the the nature of Instagram, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah. So you want to kind of force that onto one screen? No, no, so, no, 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 no. Oh, really? Like it? it <laughs> oh, jeez. No, hold on. Like it will open across two screens, at, yes. like in a portrait mode. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, they must have updated it because it just it's. It used okay. to. That's funny. 
It used so you... to only open in this mode when we were when I was reviewing it. <laughs> and then now when I just opened it, it had to have see here's the rotation thing. So here here's what the challenge is. So you gotta move it toward the mic. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, yeah. but like the bar, so like to grab the app and move it like between screens, <clears throat> I don't know what I just did there, um, yeah. for some reason that is now up so here. It's, it's a sideways, basically. Yeah, but it you has don't... looked at the longest <laughs> available screen. Yeah, it's that's funny. Well, that's yeah, that's, you know, it's it's the leading edge. Yeah, well, we'll wait till V3 because that's when it will be the phone for everyone, maybe or not. Who knows? <laughs> I'll be on a folding iPhone by that point. But yeah, folding anyway. iPhone. <laughs> I don't know. that. I think Apple's going to be really slow to get there. I do, too. I do, too. Yeah. So, anyways, but, it is it is a Monday after all. There's some. There's a Tesla battery day thing happening tomorrow. Okay. There's the Nikola founder, which is... So, this is, like, way off topic. We usually don't talk about it. So, there's, like, Tesla or whatever. There's mm -hmm. another company called, I think, Nikola or whatever. It's just the first name of the original Tesla. Yes. The scientist, right? And like two weeks ago, the guy, the, the company got accused of fraud. And then this morning he was immediately forced to step down or it is. So yeah, that, oh, that, be... yeah I'm sure, I'm sure it's, it's, <laughs> that's normal. Like you get accused of fraud, you, you bounce, wait, no, like, yeah. Well, the great thing they did, which, you know, internet sleuths figured this out is so they showed off like a semi truck. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can't even remember when, like earlier this year, maybe or whatever. And they showed it look like it was driving on its own. But, yeah, right. But, but what they did was they found a really gradual hill and then they tilted the cameras oh, to make it look me. like it was level and the truck was just rolling down the hill. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> like, that is that is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I appreciate that they didn't use special effects. It's kind of old school. I don't know what you call it practical effects, I guess. Yeah, you know? Gravity effects. Like Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So I didn't know about that. Hmm. We got that. We got, uh, oh, there was some another interesting thing out about, uh, I just started reading it this morning about the PS5. So apparently yeah. the allocations between the one with the disc and the digital, which I think we can all assume everyone's going to want mm -hmm. the digital, was like 80-20, meaning 80% of them have the disc yeah. and 20%. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if Sony, you know, this is me speculating, shooting from the hip, a, a tried and true method here on First Ring Gaming, is... <laughs> That they knew that more people would want the digital, but they knew yeah, so that they made they, it harder to get, and yeah. they made it harder to get. But they also probably lose less money on the disc, and they also know that people oh, who are going to buy it day one or whatever yeah. are going to be the most hardcore fans. They're like, ah, eh, they'll pay an extra hundred bucks. So I nice. that is actually reasonable. I'm not a big fan of conspiracy theories, but I think the same. I I, I don't know what the allocation was really, or how that and if, if anyone really knows that that's what it is. But yes, you. You put more of the expensive one in market, and when the other one runs out, people can be like, you know what, I got to get this day one. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay the extra hundred bucks. You know, yep. so yeah, smart. Yep. So, anyways, it is Monday at eight thirty, and uh, I know I'm surprised we're even uh, coherent. Maybe we're not. We'll watch this later and be like, what the hell are we talking about? Is he still hung over? Is he Saturday? describing a fever dream? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't it, know. Well, if we, it would make things a little warmer outside. Well, I guess you're a little cold when you have a fever or whatever. We'll call it uh, COVID complacency. <laughs> yeah, that's the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs>